Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Tyogurji and today we are going to develop the news application, the Apple news applications and we can say 2.0 with the help of React Native okay and we are building complete application from the scratch if you don't know anything about the React Native don't worry because I will teach you all the concept of the React Native in this video so let's see what we are going to build today and then we will see what we are going to learn in this video so this is complete uh, tutorial video and if you see right we are designing this beautiful uh, application i gave the tip good news uh, the application name and you see the list of um, news right if you want to go to the latest news you will go and it will open the latest news for you let's see right we have horizontal scrolls then we have vertical scrolling then if you want to open any of the news just click on that news and it will open for you right and it will show the details of the news also you can read this news just click on read more and it will open the url of the source for this news also you can share this uh, particular news with your friends okay on whatsapp or any on facebook also we will learn about the navigation the if you see this uh, category sliding right that also we can implement the loading effect and many more things so guys watch this full video and i hope uh, you will love this uh, video uh, and the tutorial and if you did not subscribe to my channel go and subscribe because if you want to get more video like this then press the bell icon as well so guys without doing any further delay let's begin so today we will going to learn a lot of things in this project so first we will learn how to create a react native slash expo application then we will understand the different types of hooks like use effect use navigation and lot of things then we will learn how to do styling in the react native and the most popular how to use the flat list so in this video we will teach how to use flat list in a horizontal way or vertical way and with many properties also then we will learn how to call the api we will um, register for one free news api and we will learn how to call the any api uh, in our application the next and important part is how to do the navigations and routing in the react native and we will also learn how to pass data between the parent components and to child component and child component to parent components also we will learn about the in-app browsing so if we want to uh, open some external url in a, inside our application we will learn about that one and uh, how to open that particular url outside the application we will also learn that one and then in the last we will publish our application so that user can use it your friends can use it and there are a lot of many more things we will learn in this uh, particular uh, video course so guys watch this full video and before doing any further delay let's begin so let's create a react native app so in order to create the react native app we are using the expo so there are two ways we can create the react native application one with expo and without expo the reason is to create the application with expo it helps us to build the application much easier and much faster if you are a beginner then i will suggest go with the expo all the features uh, which are needed like uh, any native features uh, you want in the your application expo will provide all everything uh, and uh, each feature for the application okay and it's very easy to use so that's the reason we are we will use expo if you go to the expo.dev right you will see this um, their home page so let's go to documentation and here you can see the statement to create the expo uh, expo right application so you can install the angular cli first if you did not install okay and there is a uh, some steps and you have to create the account and with the, this expo you can directly use the your device in order to test the application okay uh, in the real time uh, if do, you don't have emulator or you can use emulator as well okay so just go and install this expo first okay using the cli 
and in order to create the application here are the some step uh, or some command you know you can uh, use it okay and uh, open command prompt in the desired location and here you can type the uh, in order to create a pro project you have to type the command so the command is npf create expo app and the application name in this case i will write apple news 2.0 okay apple news okay. uh, it will take some time to create the project uh, to install the, all the packages and dependency so our project is created let's go to the project folder using the cd uh, apple news and once you are in that project folder path just open the vs code with the help of command line code space dot now it will open this uh, our application in your vs code okay now let's understand the folder structure if you see on the left hand side you will see this dot vs code that just ignore that part in this folder the assets all your images and everything is stored in this folder right then we have this app.js which is our starting point for the application okay and uh, so your code will be start here you have to write uh, start writing code uh, in the in the app.js file then we have, have app.json file where we will write or application configurations like application name the slug name what is the version number for the applications the icons uh, the package name for the android application ios application etc okay and uh, this packet.json is uh, it define where what what are the dependencies installed and uh, with the version number and script to run the applications okay so this is all our file structure uh, when you create the application uh, then uh, creating the files and folders is very important in order to maintain the application structurized way okay now let's run the application so go to the terminal here uh, click new terminal so in vs code it will open the terminal for you and just type expo start okay so there are two ways you can run the application i will explain both of the way so uh, just type expo start and it will ask you can you want to use another port because i already use this port right so i will say yes and it will open the browser okay and in the browser uh, you will see on the left hand side you have you will see there's some option right to run the application or to publish the application a lot of things and a lot of options right now as i say in order to run this application in your device right you have to choose the connection type as a tunnel okay so what will happen uh, you have to install the application from the play store or app store depending on uh, depending on whether you are using the android or ios phone and then you have to download expo go app you have to log in it and then once you um, in the same network right and you when you click the tunnel you will see this url and then you can access your application or you can scan this qr code as well okay and this will open the expo go app and your application will get running on that device okay so for this project uh, i will use android device emulator because um, it easy for me to show it uh, when, while we are doing the coding so let's run on the android device so if you don't want to know how can you um, add an emulator right in a your windows pc then uh, i will create a video for you just let me know in the comment section so it's building so this is my android emulator okay and if you see on the bottom side it's saying building right so it will take some time uh, when you are launching first time okay so it's it's take some time to... so if you see our application will complete it and app is loading successfully okay and it's showing the message like open up app.js to start working on your app now if you go to your 
code and go to app.js as I told you before that this is our starting point. So if you see in the text, right? So it's mentioning uh, the text, whatever you are able to see on the screen, right? Is same text, you see, okay? So you can write anything. For example, I will keep, right? Welcome to Guruji, okay? And, uh, and if I save it, you will see this message, okay? Now, let me explain what is this app.js is. So in the app.js, right, this is our starting point and in a view, if you know the HTML CSS, right, we have div tag. Here, in order to display the data on the screen in a mobile, you have to use word view, view itself meaning to show, right? And uh, just ignore this style part for now, I will explain uh, how it works and all. Then we are have text uh, tag and inside tag we enter some text, right? and ignore this one as well and save it okay so let's start uh, creating files and folder for our application now if you see our application right this is the home page for our applications right so first we'll create the home page and then uh, on the top section you'll see this uh, beautiful uh, application name then we have this bell icon right and then we have this slider so we can call it a slider and then we have slider of the news okay and then we have vertical sliders oh, sorry vertical uh, list of news right so we will divide this each uh, comp uh, section into the components so and then we will bring together okay in uh, one single page so first let's create some files and folders so here we will in the um, main directory right we'll create a folder called app okay and inside the app we will create the folder um, we can name it like pages or screen okay oh sorry uh, so we have to create a folder actually so inside app we will create a folder called uh, screen and inside that folder we can create one file called home.js okay so we are writing in the javascript so that's the reason i gave the extended .js and which is our home.js uh, which is our home screen okay again inside the app uh, we'll create another folder called components okay and inside these components i will create one more folder called home Uh, this home component can be used in the home section this as the reason I call home okay and inside the home we can call uh, so our if you see our uh, screenshot right so we have this first thing we have this uh, categories slider we can say okay so I can create call category slider dot js text slider okay. and then we have top headline slider dot js and then we have headline list dot js okay. so three files I created in VS code uh, we have one extension call react native snippet okay so i will say uh, just go and install this one this is very helpful in order to create a default template within a uh, few words so for example let's go back in our project and uh, for this category text slider right i will just type rfc and it will create a template for me right so it is a react template but just remove this one and we will wrap this in a view because we want oops, sorry, so we want to um show our data on a screen right so if you see right you have to once you add this tag you have to make sure that you will install this uh you will import this view uh, uh dependency right so if you see i install the uh, sorry i import this view from react native right you have to make sure that you will 
do it otherwise you will get error so for example if this is not important i save it let me check okay so it's it's not giving error because i i did not i'm not using this uh, component yet right but if i go to the home.js right and let's create a default template here first inside template i will create a view inside i will write text here for now okay so i will say home page okay and inside that i will just import this category text slider and if you see the top right is imported automatically if it's not then you can you have to uh, put the cursor point at the end and just uh, click on control and space okay you will get the uh, option to add it and once you install let's save okay so it's, uh, if you see the emulator right it's not affecting anything the reason is it disconnected our from our metro so what do you have to do um, you have to refresh it again okay or otherwise you can just type r in the terminal and it will reload for you okay so still our home we are not pointing to home right because as i say app.js is our starting point so remove this text for now and if you see blank on the screen okay and just add this home component inside dot app right and make sure you will input it and save it right once you save it you will see this home page text appear on the screen okay because in the home component we have this home page component and let's try to add this category text slider then you will see this error okay that view does not exist because we did not import that view so go to the category text slider and make sure you will import this view okay so make sure you import this view in from the react native and not the slash type okay so react native and save it and now you will see the home page okay so right now we don't have anything in the view so for example if i add here the text i want to add the text right so just go to the text and make sure you import the text again from the react native and here inside that you can mention the text what you want to show okay you see to view your home page if you see right now it's coming in the middle we got in app.js right we have applied this style right and uh, if you see this is how we can apply the style the style dot container so in the container it, the, the style is different right and so it's saying the align item and just back in the center so i will remove it and save it okay so it's going in the top of the section right so make sure uh, in the android right you have to give the padding from the top manually okay if you are using the uh, ios right you have the one tag called shape area view which automatically uh, gave the padding okay so right now what i will do i will use some padding top okay give 20 and it comes down right that's what we want now let's go to home page i will remove this one okay because we don't want it now and we will work on the category text slider only because first thing we want to display this one typical gene use okay so <clears throat> so in the home page right so remove this this is not where we will show so category slider will come here right and here we want to show the app name so in the text Uh, you have to mention tube guruji news for example okay and if you see right go here so we have some apply some font and some color as well right so there are two ways that you can apply the style okay the first way we can call inline styling okay so here we, how you can do that the style okay you have to give that in the double curly braces you have to define style right it's similar to the uh, css but not exactly so for example here you want to increase the font so you have to write font size okay and then how much font you want to increase like 24 we are not giving any pixels or something like that just the number and save it okay if you see on the right hand side the font it increases 
right then you comma and then you have can increase the you have um, font style oh sorry font weight so i will give bold right and then uh, that color right so here is thing right in our application we are using the color again and again right so instead of defining the color code every uh, each component of um, every screen you can define the color at uh, you know one uh, uh, file and you can use it okay so let's for now let's define a color here so i will say color and uh, let's say red for example right and we say the color is uh, the text is showing in the red okay so this is how you can uh, do some styling right it's called inline styling now let's do the external styling so external styling right after uh, outside this function just type rnss with the help of extension right it will create the template for the style sheet make sure you will import the style sheet so do control space and import the style sheet from the react native and here you can define the style okay so you can i will just copy paste this one and paste it here oh sorry uh, so we have to define uh, the class or uh, the style name right so i will write heading okay or maybe the app name okay and here uh, you can define the style now to access this style here right you just need one curly braces and then you have to define access from the styles dot application name and save it and if you see our style is still there because we are using same style if i change the color to green it will change to green okay so hope you understand the styling because everywhere we are using the styling right uh, mostly we will go with the inline styling now let's define a uh, colors in a separate file okay so go to the app and here we can create one folder called shared so where we can put all the shared uh, resources here right and inside that i'll create one file called color.js okay. so in color.js i already have this uh, couple of few, uh, three colors so this is my primary color it's kind of blue then i have gray color and then light gray okay and then you have to just export and default say so mention export default so you can access this color so for example let's go to our uh, home.js file and for this application name right it's showing green before so you can access by colors make sure you will import this and then and if you click if you click on so if you enter dot you will see these three options right because we have three color in the color.js file so in this case i will select the primary and save it so if you see this right the none of this file exist because we created in this newly file and application don't know it's not built actually so that's the reason it's not getting built so i will stop this server so and now if you see right i just run this application and color file is imported right and now you can able to see this typology news right and that's what we are we want it right but if you see we need to give padding from all the side so in order to do that go to the app.js and throughout the application we can give padding right in the container you can mention padding to 20 and save it and it will give padding okay perfect so next we want the uh, bell icon like this so this is one more uh, one site called icon uh, expo right so you can type expo icon so it will open this icon.expo.fyi site right here you will see all type of icons just search what icon do you want for example i will see bill so you see bill icon right so select the one which you want right so in this case let's enter notification this is much better actually 
and let's search the better one so i will select this one right the notification outline click on it and you will see this import statement just import it you don't need to install any dependency for it because it's by default when you install the expo app right and uh, in home.js import this statement and go back and copy this um, statement as well which you want to use it right so i will use it here and save it and if you see uh, why it's not coming okay yeah it's, it's getting some delay but if you see right this um, bell icon is not showing on the screen now we want in in the same line of this uh, application name so i will wrap this uh, text and ion icon you know another view okay and we can give some style right so i will give the inline style in this case so we can show it as a display as a flex and then we can show the flex direction the direction of the flex which we want is a row and save it if you see it's in line and we want this bill at the right so we want to give space right between the, these two uh, items so just define justify content and it will say space between and save it right and also this if you see this bill icon is at the little top right so add a line item and which need to be a center right? and if you see this changes right now it's in center so i will increase this for uh, sorry font size to 25 and also the size of this icon also 25 okay and now if you see it's working perfectly like this uh, slider okay so go to our category text slider and uh, make sure you will import this in a home.js file okay so you added that in our home.js and our category slider text is displaying because we added it here right so uh, i already have some category which i am going to use right so i enter in the category list on the array of object with the id and the name of the category okay if you see everything is here so what you have to do remove this text for now and we want to show this category right so you have to iterate that particular list of object right so in order to do that expo uh, or react native we are using flat list in order to show this list of the category right so in order to define it you can use flat list import it and inside the flat list there are some properties so what data need to be low in the in this list right so you have to define data and which what data the name of this <coughs> category list so let's say category list okay and now you have to render that data right so just type render item inside that double query devices like this so this are uh, curly braces just don't forget it because this is very important okay and then like this so here you can write what you want to show it okay so in this case for example i will say view so i will say touchable opacity so what is touchable opacity right let me explain this one okay in a just a minute so in touchable opacity provide some functionality right which view cannot provide for example if you want to click the item right so touchable opacity we provide the on place uh, function when you click on the particular item the click event will occur but if you go to the view right you can't uh, use this on place event which is very important when you want to click uh, the item and all that's the reason we use touchable opacity we have different type of touchable which is touchable highlight touchable opacity the opacity which give you some uh, click animation right uh, i will show you how it looks so right now just uh, inside touchable opacity right we will define in a text we will define this list of more uh, category 
So just in the curly braces, right? You can define item dot and name. So we want to show the name, right? This name. So and this is the item uh, which we are going to iterate every time. Item nothing but this object. Okay. And we are accessing the each object uh, name. So just type item dot name and save it. And you will see we have all this object name now. Latest world, business, sport, live, and movie. But it is in vertical, right? And we want horizontal. So flat list by default uh, give you the result in a vertical format. But in this case, we want a horizontal. So in the flat list, in order to define horizontal, right? Just type horizontal. I want horizontal flat list, right? So it's a true or false. By default, it's a false. So if you define the horizontal like this only, that's also fine. Or you can define like uh, horizontal to be true and save it. Now you see it's coming horizontally. Even though if you define like this, that also work. Now give, give some styling to the text. So inside text, I will give some inline styling. So I will give margin from the right. I want 10. Okay. Then we want to give some uh, font. We want to increase the font size. So I will give some 17. Okay. Then uh, I want font to weight to be bold. Okay. And we'll give some more uh, margin in between these two items. That's the reason I keep margin right. Okay. And now if you see it's scrollable, right? That's what we want. But it you will see this bar, right? Horizontal scroll bar. And we don't want that one. It's not look good. So what you have to do for this flat list, we have another property called show horizontal scroll indicator. And we have another vertical bug. We are not using vertical for now. So just define horizontal, right? And mention it as so a false. By default, it's true. And save it. And now if you try the scroll bar is no more okay and let's go to our application if you see this font is a little bigger and we have margin on the top as well so here we can give the font to be like 20 okay and uh, for this touchable opacity right uh, for this view because uh, this whole component we are, you can give margin from the top so give margin top maybe 20 not printing train okay. and this is perfect fine now another way uh, if on a click any of this right you will see this effect right so what happen in, in when you are using the touchable opacity you will see this light effect but if you use the touchable highlight uh, for example right and see the result is not showing anything right because it's not it is clickable but it's not giving any effect that's the reason i use opacity it's up to you what you want to use but opacity give you the nice animation okay now when i click it i want to change the color of this particular uh, category so user can able to see okay this is the selected category or active category you can say so in order to do that, first define some variable, right? So in a React Native, we can call as a in between using the use state, right? So just define constant. You can say set. Uh, uh, you can store in active and set active in order to set the value for this active variable. And this is the in built hook in order to use use state, right? So by default, we can say first element and save it and let's go back here so what you have to do you have to diff change the color right so so what you have to do uh, in this case i will remove the styling and i will put it an external styling right you have to style sheet import the style sheet and you see this unselect text for example and inside that you can define it right let's remove this extra yeah right 
and uh, for unselect text right i will apply this uh, style sheet and i will give the color to be gray from our colors of file to gray okay and is we are giving error because we don't have any style sheet for now right and just access that style sheet using styles dot unsafe text right and you will see this one now in order to change this uh, on a click active color right we have to define some condition here so the condition is i will put index here okay which is nothing but zero one two three kind of thing but you can it's up to you how you want to write the conditions right in this case what i will do i will write item dot id the uh, items id is equal to is equal to active right it's same if um, the current id and active id is same then i will apply this uh, style another style sheet otherwise I apply this unselect style sheet so i will create another style sheet here you can call select text and we can change color to primary right so when my item is active it will apply styles dot select text otherwise i will apply the unselect text right and save it now if i save it right by default our item is one right and it's matching the first element that's the reason the latest is by default color right and it's showing as a selected you can change the font uh, as well for example you can increase the font size okay uh, let me decrease the font set of this one like uh, 800 and make it 900 okay. kind of thing and now if you see you it can't change because you have to um, provide a on press function so in the touchable opposite you can press on press on the press of this one right you can call the function okay and i will write on category click function okay and make sure you will define this function and pass the argument right so in this case i will pass the item id item dot id and define this on category click function so in order to define your right constant define this function and inside function make sure that um, id you are passing you have to define here as well right that's a parameter and in order to um, apply this id to the active right you have to apply using the set active and just type id so if you see active set active and in order to set the value of this active you have to do with the help of set active that's the reason i applied this one and save it now if i go click on this one it's changing okay perfect and this is what we want perfect so you are able to um, add this business list uh, listing slider as well the, sorry the category listing slider okay next we have to use the api right in order to fetch the news so just go to the uh, news just type news api on the google and you will uh, see this news api.org site right which provide you the one of the best api news api and which is completely free if you go to the pricing right and uh, it's free uh, for 100 requests per day which is if you uh, sufficient for your uh, learning purpose okay and if you want to start business or you want more than 100 requests so you can go with this uh, depends on your size you can go with your plan but for now we will use this plan right so just create account new account okay if you don't have already so i already have account so i will log in with the existing account and once you log in right you will see this api correct so don't use mine <laughs> and uh, so you will see how much users have happened and everything right now go back to home and see the documentation of this one right so on the left hand side uh, if you want to search the news article right this is the api get api uh, endpoint that you can use it 
so for example if you want the top headline right and uh, when you search the top headline so this is the API endpoint so for example let me copy it and open it in the browser so in this all this JSON this is JSON actually and you will see this JSON now correct so these are the all top headlines so you can search by the source by CNN or some news headline ask the kind of thing right but for this um, with our screenshot so okay so for this one right we will use a top headline from the US okay. so let's copy this and that's what we are using so in order to use the API right we want to use the HTTP function to fetch the record right so in react native there are a lot uh, with the help of dot phase dot a a x i o s right uh, we can use to, or uh, we can fetch the result from the api in this example there is a um, beautiful um, api uh, library called api source okay and if you go here uh, this is how you can install this and very this is very easy and convenient to use and very fast right and if you see uh, it it built on the base on the axios http client library so what you have to do uh, first you have to install this so this is the command line so go and paste in the terminal open a new terminal and paste it here and once it installed right we will uh, uh, in meantime right we will create one more folder in the app and we can call it as a services and inside that we we'll create one folder called global api dot js where we can store our, our all apis okay so here let's go back to our uh, this API github uh, uh, page and there how you can use it right so let's copy this one uh, in order to at very first time how to create the api right and make sure you import this create statement from the api source okay right now i, will, I don't want header so i will remove it and instead of this base url you can put your own base url so in our case we want this news api uh, url right so copy this url and paste it here but we want only base url uh, so we can keep it up to this point okay and let me keep this here for now okay. so this is our base url now in order to call the api right uh, so this is the method in order to call it right so it's very simple i will write it for you actually so we have to write for a simple constant get top headline you can uh, give any variable name and here to you have to call api dot get request because we are fetching the record right and you have to define this what uh, what is the endpoint right so top headline and we have to pass this country and the api api key but this is constant every time right so i will define it here as a constant so uh, api key for example is equal to i will keep like this okay so you can put this api key in an environment variable in order to uh, for security purpose okay and here you can define this api key so this include this all statement uh, is nothing but uh, this one for example right to get the record and now you have to export this get top headline so that user other uh, we can access this uh, a uh, particular you can call this endpoint right from any other file so i will export say default and inside that you can call get top headline that's it and done so this is quite easy very simple and within few line of code you can able to define the api from this is a client side um, api call right now uh, go back our uh, components right and we have this uh, top headline slider component right just uh, add the default template and let add the view 
save it and uh, in the screen make sure you will import this item so what i will do first here I'll top headline slider right and uh, here you can define this top headline slider right i this is the comma uh, comment comment uh, comment uh, i gave right just for our easiness to understand category list right and just do the control slash and it will you like this right and make sure it's imported okay and save it so it it gave the error like it could not find within the project some react like two types because if you go here right i imported a few from the incorrect uh, package so make sure you import from the correct package and boom right so just type something make sure uh, it's coming on the screen so I'll top headline and save it and you see top headline is coming perfect now we have uh, inbuilt hook called use effect right so define that use effect i will tell how it works okay and why we are using it okay so once you define this uh, inbuilt use effect right it help us this use effect will call every time when this component is loaded right and uh, it will load continuously if you define like this but in order to load only once right you have to define the square bracket so it will only do uh, execute once once this component is get loaded right or you want to uh, load this use effect at certain point for example some update happens right on the particular variable change and you want to load this you can define that variable name here right variable name and whenever this variable name change this use effect will execute i want to execute only once so i will do like this right and define one another cost, uh, function or method uh, to get top headline right from the api so i will define like this and this will be our async function or we are calling api right so inside that i will write result constant result is equal to and we have to call that global api and dot our get top headline right and dot we have one data so define like this so automatically we will add a weight in front of this one okay and what i will do i will console this result so make sure this result is coming okay and this uh, get top headline oh, let me change this spelling yeah headline in the use effect because when a component load we want to uh, uh, execute this method right we want to get this uh, result from the api so i will call like this and save it as you know once you save it right it's saying none of the file exists right this global API file is not able to find it so what you have to do just stop the server and run it again so recently uh, expo updated a lot of things okay that's the reason sometimes it happened sometimes not now if you see in the console right we got a lot of data you see it's a lot of data right it means we are able to get this result right now we want to store that result in some variable right so in order to do that do the constant and we will use the use state so you say say uh, news list for example and then say new list okay. and inside that you choose state and by default i will put it as an empty right and let's go back to our api and if you see right our articles means all the news in the articles uh, uh, added, right so in set news list right you have to get only articles because we only want to care about the news right the the list of object of the news so i will write result and then copy these articles and articles right and remove this console save it right so what happens all this news right if you see all this news 
are stored in this news list okay because we, with the help of save news list now we want to show on the screen right if you remember uh, we use the flat list for this one because we want to show horizontally and it's scrollable right same thing we have to define for this horizontal top heading line slider so remove this one and uh, define the flat list first and inside this flat list you can define the data which data we want to use so in this case the news list we want to render items right so, so item i will say okay kind of things and you have to define like this inside that it should be touchable right again this item should be touchable when you click you have you can read the full news right so i will write touchable opacity and inside that you can define or uh, add your all the things now if you see we want image the big size image and then the title of this um, particular news and this source so we want image so define image so this is the image tag right we want to use in the react native close this tag and uh, we have to provide the source we, uh, in this case we have url right so we have to define in double curly braces URI, right? Colon, and then item. So if you want to access the particular item, right? So make sure what is the image URL. So this is the URL to image, where you define the URL for the image, right? So define item dot URL image. Perfect, right? Now we want to give the style because without style, I don't think so it will show it, right? So define the style. So in this case we will show the height you want to show height to be like uh, maybe 400 okay and save it so if you see it's coming right the height is too much for i think so i will define 350 okay this refreshing is taking time but it's now coming right uh, and uh, yeah that's okay right but the width is full screen right now right we want to uh, limit some width and uh, that's the reason i will in the touchable opacity we can use style right and in order to access the screen width and height right so for example let's mention width first and let me get it down okay so just put dimension import this dimension from the react native package then we will say get dimension of what you have to get from the screen or window i will say screen and what you want height or width so in this case i want width right and it will take the width of the screen right but i want i, I want some other 90 percent of this width right so i'll put like 0. Point, in this case is 0. 0.88 and save it i will put 80 okay and save it like this and we want it horizontal so what you have to do just mark it as a horizontal and save it right and you'll see that next is coming here correct so what i'll do i'll put it 80 only because we haven't give margin and everything and if you see you can able to see the next image as well a little bit and that's what we want to show that's how we want to show right so if you go to with 80 that is fine for now okay and for this image we want to also give the margin uh, the radius the border radius and which is like 10 and here you can give margin from the right as a 10 and save it you can give more, more for right perfect so this is what we want okay and uh, for this view give some margin from the top so for at the parent level I will give margin top to be like 10 okay, let's see how it looks here 10 maybe 50 okay. yeah that is okay and I will decrease the little height here okay so what you can do you can use this same 
um, meter here instead of 350 right and uh, just change the 080 to something like 77 and boom perfect okay so you can use this uh, reuse this okay uh, I've used the width and in order to maintain this application right if you the screen size is bigger or larger depends on that it will take the dimension of the screen and uh, uh, the dimension of the width and then it will apply the particular width and height accordingly okay perfect now let's add the text so here I will define the text okay and text contain we, what we want if you go to in a re API response we want the title okay so item dot title and save it you see this title and another one we what we want is the source so if you see the source right is in the source and then we have to access the source dot name so I will add, use source dot name if sometimes it happens the source will not available so in this case we mark as a question mark so it's optional and if uh, sometimes if source uh, is not there it will not throw error because you might have as an option okay so I will keep like this and if you see uh, this rolling stone associated press that is our source now let's give some style to this one so first I will give margin top to 10 then I will increase the font size to 20 then I will make it bold so I want font family to be not family the font weight to be bold and let's see how it looks yeah, this will look perfect and, and let's define for this one as well so for our source view margin top to 10 again maybe 5 I don't want 10 it's too much and then can give color and in this case we are gonna give the colors of, of the our primary color of the application and that's the reason right you don't need to define the code and that's the reason we use the color uh, for the color we define separate file name and you see it's coming perfectly fine yeah i know you see this particular horizontal scroll right so just remove it you know how to remove it right so go here say show um horizontal score indicator as a false perfect and save it and see it's not showing anymore right perfect you able to crack the code right now one more thing you face here right somewhere is showing four somewhere is showing three and the layout get changed yes so in order to avoid that in this text right you can define the number how many lines you want to show right not in style so in the text text will give you one uh, inbuilt or property called number of lines so i want to show only three lines maximum and if you save it right so those new title has more than three lines it will show with the dot 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 right it looks perfectly awesome correct so that's what uh, uh, all about this particular slider right and let's see how uh, this matching right? if you see this font is little bigger you can make it font little bigger as well so let's make it 900 and the font size as well you can make it like 24 or 23 okay I think this is okay for me. Yeah, that's look good. Okay. Now, I think we are pretty much done. And obviously, we use this touchable opacity, and that's the reason if you see this click event, right, it's perfectly giving some animation on our click. Okay. Now, next, we will design this list for this news. Now, if you see our screenshot, we want to design this um, list for the news right so on the left hand side we have image and on the right hand side we have the image uh, news source and the title so let's go to our project and we have this headline list okay uh, component so just add the template add the view 
and let's add text to make sure it's working so add line in list okay now go to your um, home.js file and here we will add the um, headline list So this is our emulator and if you save it right you will see this headline list is coming up okay so let me close all this tab and open only this headline list okay so a couple of things right what we have to do uh, once this home page is loaded we want to load the uh, data it means we have to call the API and then we have to pass it to the every component which we want to send it correct so if you go to the home.js right we are just showing the information and in top headline we are sending data so i will remove all this api call from this top he headline slider and i will keep it in home.js okay make sure you will import all of these um, packages so use effect then what we have on this global api Okay, that's all and if you see it's similar just we are calling instead of top headline slider we will call uh, we will call this api from the home page and now in top headline slider we want to pass this data okay so in order to pass it we have to pass with some variable for example headline list okay and then or, or i can say news list okay and inside that what data do we want to pass so um, in this case is news list right so news list so whatever the variable name you want to give that one and this what data do you want to pass okay now you have to go to the top headline slider and inside this we will call it as a props okay so we are getting data from the home to this component right so we have to mention the props and uh, in this case i will mention like headline or i can mean like news list only okay so you don't need to change anything here and i will keep it keep as it is the name whatever it is right and i pass as a news list and if i save it you will soon no change because we just passing data everything is similar right instead of calling the api from this um top headline list slider we are calling from the home js okay now next we want to pass this news list on this headline list right obviously uh, for headline list we will call different api but for the uh, testing purpose we will pass this same information okay headline list now next we have to add this props here so head news list right news list make sure uh, mostly we have to use the same name uh, in this props so it will be consistent okay now we have the list of all the news now we have to iterate it so we'll use the flat list so inside the flat list i will add the data what what data we want to plus so in this case is the news list news list and then we have to render the item okay so item okay. and inside that we will add the touchable opacity because it's a clickable opacity okay and now we have to define image on the left hand side so i will put uh, image and let me close the tag and we will add the source okay so in this case item dot url to image okay and save it so we'll see no information because we want to give height and width so here inside style give width of maybe 100 and height be 100 we will adjust it later if needed 
so if you see we are not we are not getting any data correct so let's see whether uh, in console we are getting any error or not so if you see it's saying some fail prop invalid prop okay so if you go back here right we have to add this URI tag right and also double curly braces to this source and then save it and then you will see this all the list correct so let's increase this size to 130 and 130 for example and this is much better I will say okay yeah so now let's round this uh, corner and give not margin but give mar okay, let's round this corner first and from the margin bottom so on the touchable opacity we use tie and here we can give margin maybe bottom let's say top 10 right? yeah. this is perfect if you see yeah this is perfect okay now we want to name and uh, uh, source name title and source name so i will put one view here so you can put empty things as well like this okay it doesn't matter and inside that uh, we will add the title right so inside text oops, item dot title okay. and another one we want item dot source dot name okay so if source is not there we will put it optional and now we want the uh, this all this information data uh, in one row with the image so in touchable opacity uh, style we want to show it as a one horizontal line so make it as a flex and then make flex direction as a row if you see it's coming okay so if you see our text is going uh, on the right hand side right right so what i will do i will put some margin or you can put the width but uh, here in style i will put some margin so margin so it's better to give it because you are giving style view okay and view here margin right 130 I will give 135 if you see all text in one line now and also I will give some margin from the left like 10 and I will do 130 now we want to give a uh, style to this text so style we'll increase the font size first so i will make it 80 and let make the font uh, weight to be bold okay. yeah this is look perfect now we have to uh, limit the number of lines so in this case i will limit to four maybe yeah so inside this we will limit the number of lines to be four only okay. uh, yes if you see our number lines is four now okay. also in this one right uh, we want to give style so style and i will keep this uh, text as it is just i will change the color to primary so colors color dot primary and also i will give some margin from the top to six maybe let's see how it looks yeah and this is look much better but if you see right it's only scrolling this part and not on the whole um, uh, page right so in order to uh, do it right so let's go to home.js and here you have to you have to apply scroll level view and import the package if you see it's importing from the react native 
and in this type of underscore type preview and now save it and now if you see we are getting right all this page is uh, scrolling now okay. one more thing if you observe here we have this word uh, horizontal line correct so like html or css we don't have hr tag so we have to add this line so let's go to top headline slider oh, sorry in the headline list and outside of this uh, touch, touchable view maybe yeah touchable view opacity uh, let's let's add here only let's for let's add view okay and for view we only give style okay so i will give a height of one and i will give color colors dot uh, light gray color dot light gray okay. and we will see not color but we will see the background color okay and let me check why it's not showing maybe let's increase the height let me add um, this is need to be here so let's uh, wrap this touchable view inside view so make sure you are wrapping correctly so this is okay let me check what the issue here So already we wrap this view and let's put this uh, line of code the horizontal so I will st style height of one and background color as a color dot go oh, wait uh, so we want to remove this one just add this color so color dot gray and you see line is coming so we want light gray so add the light gray and yeah and now let's give margin from the top and this is perfectly fine if you want to give margin from the left and right you can give it so it will be uh, touched to the screen as well so if you see margin left it will become minus 20 so if, actually we don't want it if you see this is okay and everything is working perfectly fine so so we want the line here as well so what we could do we can just cut this one and we'll paste above this Touchable opacity, so line will become at the top. Let's see, perfect. Okay, and uh, here we have this page. Correct, and now if you see it's clickable. Okay, so if you, un you understand how it uh, need to be done right, perfectly fine. So let's move on to the next uh, section, which is the routing. How can we navigate from uh, one page to another so if i click on this page we have to navigate to another so let's see that now the reason we use the chamber opacity is to whenever user want to click it right we can add this uh, click event correct so for example on the click we can add the on press event so go to the top headline slider and inside this touchable opacity right we'll add on press and inside the on press just console it click okay and uh, that's all so i just calling the console and I'm, I'm the click will print in the console so open the console 
and if I click this, if you see, right, the click is coming, perfect. So our on-place um, event is working. Now we have to add the navigation, correct? So let's go uh, and search for the React Native Navigation, right? We will see this site reactnavigation.org, right? Which is the one of the um, official and um, base uh, library in order to add the navigation and routing. So go to the docs. Here you will see how can you uh, install using this uh, command, right? So copy this command and uh, go back to the application and run this command. Okay, so it will install the React Native um, routing or navigation. Sorry. Again, go back here. Okay, and we don't want to install any other things because our project is the Expo one, and this is totally support um, support to the Expo. Okay, now there are a lot of uh, different types of navigation that we can call a stack navigation or um, tab navigation okay drawer navigation kind of things so in this particular tutorial we will use the stack navigation okay so search for the tag navigation stack this is stack navigator right and if you go to stack navigator this is how it works so if you click it the new page will come on top of this existing page so we have to install this uh, stack navigation as well so and paste it here and if you see it will install it okay now go back again and uh, make sure you will install this gesture handler okay uh, to stack for stack navigator um, if you see right if you have expert managed project in your project this, then you have to run this command otherwise this command right I will install this one that's all okay so our react navigation uh, all the file or packages or library is installed now the point is how to uh, use it right so go to the files and inside this app folder right create another folder called navigations okay so we'll keep all our navigation here so inside that what we have to do from the home page we have to navigate to somewhere right so we can write home navigator okay dot js okay and inside that define the constant first and we have to define stack okay is equal to create stack navigator simple okay and uh, also define this uh, for template default template I'll keep this here, okay. And in this home navigator, right, we have this view. Remove this one, and I will put a view. Uh, or, or we can put a stack, then dot um, navigator, okay. And inside that navigator, right, because uh, this is stack navigator, we have to define like this, and we have stack, and then we have to define screen. How many screen we want to show it, okay. And if you don't know the coding and all of this is right in the documentation, it's clearly mentioned everything, right? So you can use in a similar way. You can use like this, or you can in the tag uh, in React like this as well, right? And then name this screen what the screen is. So in this case, I will name home and attach the component for this particular screen. So in this case, I will attach as a home, okay? And that's all, right? Make sure the home component is imported successfully. I don't think so. It's imported. Home. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So it's a H capital. That's it. This is its home. Okay. Now go back to app.js. Right. And here we define the CP review everything. Correct. So inside that, define the navigation container. Navigator dot. Oh sorry. Navigator container. Okay. Navigation, oh yeah, navigation container, okay. and inside that you have to define this navigation which we created. That is the home navigation navigator, okay. And just comment out this home, 
and save it so it will give an error that react navigation not found because we install new library right so we have to refresh the project so let's stop the uh, project and now if you see right i just reload the applications and uh, you see screen like this right the background is a um, little grayish and some padding okay and you will see this tab as well home tab right so go to the home navigator again and inside the stack navigator right we have the lot of uh, different options right so it, we have one property called screen options and inside screen option you can type header shown right we have the header shown let me get back get this down and you have to make it as a false and save it and you'll see this uh, particular header is uh, not showing and this is applicable for the all the screen you can define um, this property for each individual screen as well so it's up to you now we will define one more screen uh, but we have to create that screen first so go to the uh, screen and add new file called read news dot js okay. we we'll call like this inside that we will add the template we remove this one and we will add the view okay and inside view i will add some text in order to test it read news import this perfect and inside home navigator now add this screen stack dot screen and the name of the screen is uh, read news and the component which we want to attach is read news component if you see it's here right and it's imported as well and now save it it doesn't affect anything because we just add the screen but because we are not um navigate yet okay so this is the just for the routing purpose okay this is the home page this is the read news another important things here right so whatever the first screen which you define in the stack navigator it um, then stack navigator uh, consider this as a default first screen for this navigator okay if i want this read news as a first one you can just go here paste here and save it you will see the that screen as a first one okay it's up to uh, what you want to show so here right or in the stack navigator you have option called initial routing name and you can define the name for example home in this case like this okay so let's go to app.js and see everything is okay home navigator is okay read news okay now we we'll see this background right so for now what i will do let's go to the home.js and uh, in home.js in a in a display right we already have the uh, style for this view i will just add the background color and i will do the white so you can do jo jo jo, sorry fff code for the white and see it's working it's not working somehow let me check the issue now, oh so um, view is applicable only for this one right so we have to apply for the whole screen so in scroll view i applied this background color so it's my mistake okay if you see uh, you can add this code in a color uh, in our shared folder and color.js file. So I will add it here as a white and define hash fffff. Okay. Save this one and just call this color here. So color dot white. Boom. Okay. And we can able you are able to see everything. Okay. Now let's go to our headline.js, right? So in component we have this headline list sorry the top headline slider right and we have this on press event correct so now what we have to do we have to go to the next page close this one so here you first you have to define one constant called navigator or navigation in whatever name you want to give and you have to use inbuilt hook called navy uh, use navigations 
okay, which is imported from the React navigation slash native. Okay. So what it will do? It have some um, properties which is used to navigate. Okay. So let's go to this on press event. And inside the on press event, instead of the, uh, remove this console, and I, what I will do, I will write navigation navigation dot navigate. Okay, because we define this constant and we have this property called navigate, and we have want to navigate. So in this case, I will say read news and save it. So read news is nothing but the name which we give gave for this screen, correct? So that's the reason I kept read news. And if I click it, it's going to the read news. Perfect. Go back. Go to some other. Uh, sorry, uh, because we apply only this on press to this slider. Click it. It's going to the new screen. Perfect. Now also we want to pass this um, uh, the selected news, right? When you click on the news, we want to pass this information to the next screen, right? So here uh, you have to pass the information, right? So give, in curly basis, you have to pass news, right? So what are the variable name which we want to give and the value so in this case is item right because we want to only pass a single object so item that's it okay. go to the uh, if you go to the read news right inside read news we can define the the particular page so you can define the code here because if you see uh, let me we have this image the top navigation bar and this uh, information as well so it's not too much right it's not making sense to divide this component so i will define everything in the read news only okay. and inside read news accept that props oh sorry uh, so here is we are navigating right so we are not passing value from one component to another but on the navigation we are passing right so here we have to define one constant you can call it as a news and here you have to use user route so whatever the uh, this this route hooks help us uh, from where um, you jump or from which page you jump and what are the parameters passing and everything and inside that we have the call params so params is nothing but which parameter is pass and inside that we have one parameter called news okay so inside news we all have all this information so if you want to check you can just uh, use use if console it you will see this news item so right now here you see i will define first this uh, screen uh, i will add this later on but first we will this add image this title and this all the description so first image and inside the image we have source and inside source we have uri and news so we have to access from news dot url to image okay and uh, so saying cannot read property news of undefined okay so this is news and it is undefined because it's a constant we are getting we have to add it in the um use effect okay so So, so in use effect make sure uh, you are getting this value first so I will define the use effect here and we want to run that only once so that's the reason I added that um, empty array and console this news and save it okay so if I click this one and make sure you are getting this value and if you see you are getting this value right so right now it's showing empty but here uh, because we did not define any width or height for this image so define a height and width for this one so width i will give 100 percent and i will define height as well height for example 300 for now and if you see i'm able to see this one correct 
Also, uh, we'll check see, set the background to be white. So background color, and inside that we have the color dot white. Okay. Let's see how it's not showing. So it's we want flex one, and now it's showing because flex one is vertical. It's cover all the screen. Okay. Let's go back select another image because the background is white. Like at this image and this size is I think pretty much good okay now round the corner border radius to be 20 maybe 15 okay. and now we want to add the title so text inside text we have nudes dot title and before that we have source okay we add the source as well so before this title we have source so news source dot name we have the source name and we have this title right and then we have the description so add that as well so let's see what is the endpoint oh sorry uh, field name for this description so we have this title and we have this description so we'll add that one you see all the description is here now let's start applying the style so here we'll add the style first we'll give margin from the top to 10 then we'll change the color to primary color dot primary and we'll increase the font size little bit to 16 and save it and this is look good now apply the style for this uh, title Style. We give margin from the top first to 10. Then we increase the font size to 22 maybe. And we will add the font width to be bold and save it. And this is good. And for the description, we will add style. The margin top again at 10. And then we will add the font size to be 18 and save it so if you see right the font size is not we can decrease a little bit size and we'll add the color so in this case I will add the color to be color dot gray not okay, and this is okay and 18 only but if you see right here there's a much gap between this one right and some blaze gap so there's another uh, style property called line height okay and here you can define for example define 100 oops sorry 100 so line height like this right so decrease the size and this is i think okay let's see how it looks so we have this uh, title then this uh, source name so actually we want to put this below this news heading yeah like this perfect and one more thing we have is a read more so once we click on this read more it will open the url or source url for this news and you can read the full news from there so another text which is similar to this one and I will just type like read more okay. and I will make it bold little bit so font weight to be bold perfect so if you see everything is set up now only thing remaining is giving the back button and this our um, the share arrow because we may add the uh, feature to share this news on whatsapp or any other media okay, or any other app so let's do that now now here uh, above this we want to add the back button and the share button okay so let's add a view let's uh, go to our icon so let's type icon dot xofy and we want to back button right back so we have a couple of options to go back button i will use this arrow back copy this input statement 
paste it here go back here again and copy this uh, component button. and if I save it you will see this back button right so let's give some margin from the top margin from the top 10 margin from bottom to 10 and also we want the share button so let's go back here let add the share so we have few option for sharing uh, i will use this share or not not this one i will use this one paste it here oh sorry we have to paste this import statement over here you can oh we already have ion icon so no need to import it again and then we have to import this ion icon component so this one and save it and if you see it's showing it here now we want in one or uh, one row so display make it display as a flex and then make it uh, flex direction as a flex flex direction as a row okay. now it will come in one line i will increase the size of this one to 30 maybe look how it looks and the 28 okay. and specify the space between that one just by content and space between and save it and you see it's showing you like here right now one more thing that this item is need to be a clickable so obviously you have to wrap this icon icon uh, inside touchable opacity or you can use the button as well it's up to you so I will use the touchable opacity And an icon and the same touchable opacity and put this icon okay so it will be clickable now once you click on this now back button it should be go, uh, we need to go back to the previous page so I will add the on press event on this one and define this use navigation because we have to navigate back right so constant navigation is equal to use navigate navigation right and uh, we have one property in previously used the navigation dot navigate property now in this case uh, we have to use go back property okay and it will go back if i save it and click on it it will go back okay so same if i open this one click on go back it will go back okay perfect it's working perfectly fine. now uh, share method right we have to uh, do for sharing right so here we will add the on press event and inside on press event i will call one function called share news so we will define this method uh, over here right constant share news equal to so i define this method right and uh, i did not pass any element because we already have event news right which contains all this information which we want to share now expo has inbuilt uh, share functionality so just type info sharing sharing maybe okay and if you go to the documentation of the info sharing this is how i uh, will give the option for sharing right and this um this compatible to all the platform so no worry just make sure you will input uh, you will install this exposure in using this command line copy this command line paste it here okay you might need to restart but let's see and once it's installed right so inside the share you can have a share method you will see and dot again share okay and inside this share right this is how you can write it you have to define the message which you want to share so in this case i will write the title of the news so i will write news dot title plus uh, i will write the click here method okay, means to read more something like read more and then i will so define like this so it's a complete text and the news dot description okay, and save it don't put the semicolon and save it 
once you save it right and we do already uh, calling the share new let's see on click of this one right uh, new will take some time you'll see this option to share and with this uh, um, beautiful uh, news heading and the link as well okay so if i go to the messaging right and let's i don't know we don't have anything here emulator but our share is working now now go back uh, open another news and you will see this particular news with beautiful um, uh, design and, and styling everything now last thing uh, remaining is on the click of read more so on read more we want to open in build browser which will open the url okay so wrap this text so i will write touchable opacity okay so another thing right instead of you don't want to use touchable opacity right you can use the button as well okay and define button here and for button you have to define this text in in this way title and inside that you can define the button and if you save it it doesn't change anything right you see okay so we have this read more button directly actually okay it's coming as a button but it's up to you whether you want to show it or not let me remove this let's see how it looks it doesn't affect anything that's fine but if you want button you can put button if you not i will or either pay for that particular uh, text only and i will wrap it in a touchable opacity okay so touchable opacity okay and then i will add the on press event here okay let me put the console for now okay so in order to open browser right uh, expo has um uh, expo linking and uh, if you go to linking right you will see this on uh, different type of linking how to open url and everything right so in this case uh, we want to open the url in a browser correct so there is another method called okay so if you come to down right we have this called in-app browser so copy this and uh, install this particular dependency or library and then this is how you can do it so you can import this web browser right once it's installed and just you have to call web browser dot uh, open browsers async right so it will open in browser if you want to open in a, some system uh, browser like chrome so then you have to use linking dot open url so in this case we want to open in in our app only so first i will import this statement okay and then I will just copy this line of code and I will paste it here for the read more on press event right so here we have on press event instead of console I will put the put this line of code and instead of this URL right I will put our new URL so new start let's go back here see the URL so we just have URL right so just type URL and save it now if you click on it uh, i don't know why it's not working so on browser web on press let's see is we are getting any error or not so it's saying the web browser is not defined so we have to restart it again right so our application is get loaded and now let's open for example this news and here we have read more so if i click read more right it open the web browser so right now i'm on emulator so it's looking too bad but on your system it looks perfectly fine so we completely design and complete this particular page now another thing right we have to on the place of image we are navigating right same thing we have to do for this uh, uh, news as well so go back your uh, headline list right define the same code which you define so i will just copy paste for now so i will use this navigation put it in headline list import the use navigation and also we have this on press event right so i will copy this on press and put it here so we have this one right so 
in physics is touch about history i press this read name equation right and we have this news item everything's good so it's right click this one right still not working it's showing some error let's try it again and it's working now so first time i don't know what's the issue but if i open this one right i'm getting this news but yes it's not scrollable here so just you remember right it's correct you have to add the scroll view so go to the read news and here at the top instead of this view you can add the scroll view so whole page is scrollable now save it and it's scrollable you can remove this vertical bar if you don't want it but yeah so perfect yeah if you go to this uh, news api right so we have this api called everything and we have to just pass the query right so if i pass the query as a business or uh, as a latest you will get the result so in our global api i add this another endpoint called get by category and i'm passing this category in this way okay and then i'm uh, calling this get api for this uh, endpoint everything and we are passing the query as a category okay so this category whatever we pass we will pass it here so in a home.js okay i just commented uh, this get top hill uh, top headline uh, method call and i'm create another method called get news by category and here i'm passing the by default as the latest one okay now on the click we have to call this method right but this method is defined uh, that this particular code right it is in the category text slider correct so what we have to do on press uh, of this event right so this is on press correct and on category click uh, we are calling this item dot id so so here right we have um, setting the whether it's active or not right same we have to send some value to this one correct so that's what we are doing now so now what we have to do we have to pass on press event and we have to send value from this child component to our parent component correct so here what you have to do uh, wrap this um, because uh, inside this we will call two methods okay at a time so first is on category click and second we will call uh, select category okay and inside that we will pass the item dot name of the category okay and then you have to pass this um, function call right i'm oh, sorry we have to pass this function call uh, in these props okay and in the home.js if you go here right in the category text slider here you have to call it so what it will do uh, react automatically take whether you are passing from child to parent or parent to child right and here you can call uh, get news category right so let come get news category and we have here selected category right so i will write just category for now and you can just pass this category here okay perfect and if i save it right it's refreshing so by default it's calling the latest and if i change for example now i change to business right it will take some time because it's loading the data right and then it's showing you see it's change if you want sport it will change to sport now okay but the other thing that it's taking time right and obviously you don't like it so we have to show it loading whether it's loading or not correct so to do that we define one constant called loading okay and i will say it's loading is equal to use state initially we set it as a true okay so loading value is true initially and here we'll set loading as a true and after this we'll set loading as a false we will remove this console okay now what loading will do uh, inside this scroll view right uh, we will define if it's a loading right then we will show the loader okay so we have 
inbuilt uh, function called activate activity indicator okay and otherwise we will show the result so inside this view let me wrap this up actually here okay and we want to wrap everything together view So we already have this one okay yeah so we wrap this one and if it's loading we will show and activity indicator so activity indicator also have some method called how, how much size so i will put it large and the color of the activity indicator so if you see the color right so you can define the color as well so i will put the i will put the uh, color or primary color and save it now you see you see this activity indicator showing if i click world right it's the activity indicator if i select the business it will show the activity indicator correct but if you see that's this particular space also is uh, going and we want to keep it as it is right so just replace this activity indicator from here uh, along with i will say along with this one to the slider okay and let's see how it looks so it will refresh it okay if i change to let's see perfect if i change to word it will change to word okay. so right now in emulator it's a little slow but when you actually run on the uh what to say uh your device it will be very fast you can give margin or padding to this activity indicator as well so let's give some margin padding so i will give style and i will give margin top okay so what i will do i will give margin top to dimension of the screen what is the height is so dimension of the screen and dot height so into 0 0.45 for example half okay so if i refresh it let's see it's showing like here right so we'll decrease the size a little bit if you see right it's showing perfectly at the place where i want to see perfect and now everything is working fine so now uh, once we uh, complete development of the application the time is to deploy the application right so i will teach you how to deploy on play store and the app store in my another video but you can still share this app with your friends and family okay so just you have to do you can send the link with email that's also one of the reason uh, one of the way okay and you can publish this app on expo so what i will do just click on pub, uh, publish app i will change to apple news app 2.0 you can put the github source url if you want or description okay i will keep it blank for now and just say publish project so it will take some uh, few uh, seconds a few minutes later so if you see our application published and this is the url that you can access the application i will open i will open this url and you will see okay so right now uh, you will see the application name we did not add the logo but you can add the logo and uh, here you will see this qr code or you can have this url as well that you can share it okay and just the thing you have to uh, with the help of expogo app you have to scan and anyone gets then use this application okay and uh, there are some uh, other method to publish it or something like that but it's up to you so guys uh, that's all for this video i hope you enjoy this video and you learn a lot of uh, different concepts of the react native and uh, yeah you can go and try it and definitely uh, if you did not subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel uh, press like button and if you have any thought or any comments or if you don't understand any of the topic 
please comment uh, in the comment section so i can uh, tell you in the personal or you can uh, direct message me on the instagram so my instagram id is at trip guruji and you can check it out or follow me on the instagram as well so guys uh, see you in the next video thank you